Marion, what is your involvement with HP and this new technology? So I'm the application engineer for the UK and Ireland. Um, I look after um, co cost sort of optimization, machine, uh, sorry, application optimization. So if you're thinking about producing something um, for, with 3D, uh, I tell you whether it's viable with this printer, um, how to optimize that design to, to get the best out of 3D, um, because it's not about part replacement. Um, if you're looking to have a part at the moment that's currently CNC machined, for example, uh, CNC is a subtractive technology and so you wouldn't want to create that same thing with an additive technology because additive is all about minimal material and subtractive is all about minimal you know, machine moves and uh, removal of material to get the part cost down. So uh, it's, it's about part redesign and optimisation um, and I help companies do that basically. That's, that sounds fascinating. Now, in regards to a real-life application, you, you have a, a component here, or an element, shall I say. Yeah. Can, you, can, you get, can you tell me about this real-life yep. application? Yep. So this is basically a helmet by one of our customers. Um, they produce prosthetics and, and other things that are uh, useful in the medical industry for their customers. Um, uh, the key thing is customization, because every single individual person is different. Um, and this is, a, this is basically a baby helmet. Uh, and a great thing about this particular application is um, it's one material. This was printed in PA12 uh, nylon, um, but the ma material is rigid on the outside and on the inside it's got flexibility um, so these parts can actually move if you push them in um, and that is purely done by a design um, that's an example to show you what 3d can do um, you couldn't do you couldn't create this kind of complex geometry or this kind of uh, material property with one material through any other kind of technology um, the wall thicknesses would be too thin and the design would be too intricate to do by injection molding for example and obviously you couldn't do this by metal so it had to be plastic um, so 3d is just opening doors to things like this uh, which would be very difficult to do otherwise um, which can change people's lives as well now i think that that's a perfect example really and it really illustrates the new technology that hb offer but this is not where it stops is it you're also evolving this technology and can you give me a little bit of an insight into where it's going into the future yeah so at the moment this is our plastics platform um, but there will be other machines and, and HP also delving into other materials um, so this has got its own materials roadmap which is all plastics this is plastics um, but you've also got a metals machine hopefully coming out in the next couple of years um, it's under development I've seen parts of it um, and again HP are trying to tackle that industry or the metals market the same way they've they've tackled the plastics market which is via um, mass production so they want it to be production machine um, and reducing costs um, because at the moment 3d is still more expensive than other technologies so metals hopefully will be cheap HP's metals will be cheaper than other metal technologies and as it simplified the way we will be manufacturing components it's simplified um, in the sense that at the moment, you know, depending on the uh, process that you're manufacturing for, so whether it's uh, injection moulding, you have to think about draft angles, you have to think about the way that the part's going to be produced. If the wall thicknesses are too thin, it's not going to work. You have to think about ribs. Um, with CNC, like I said, you have to think about how many moves the machine is going to make to be able to produce that part. Um, additive comes with its own set of rules, like any other technology. Um, but the, uh, the good thing about it is that um, I would say once you've got your head around how to design for it, it will be easier to use because you have less uh, parameters to worry about. It's uh, you know you can you can print it how, with this technology, you can print it however you want.